Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So the long-awaited Windows 11 version 23H2 feature update is finally starting to become available. And Microsoft started pushing out the update um, late yesterday in my region once again on the 31st of October 2023. Now the update is also known as the Windows 11 2023 update. And like all feature updates, it is an optional update. So you don't have to install version 23H2. But just take note though that over the next coming months, Microsoft will um, auto-upgrade PCs like they always do eventually over the next coming months if you don't decide to install the update now. Now, just a bit of an overview regarding 23H2. Um, Windows 11 uh, version 23H2 is upgraded with an enablement package. So it's actually quite a quick update. And that's for version 22H2. And as I've mentioned previously, there are no changes to the hardware requirements um, if you are up upgrading from version 22H2 to version 23H2. And first of all, um, if we just head to Winver, as many of you will know by now about Windows, this is the only update that will roll out this year that will bump version 22H2 up to version 23H2. And something else to take note of is that the OS build is now being bumped up to 22631 from 22621. And the point release is 0 0.2506. Now that point release with the initial installation of version 23H2 is actually as I posted on 0 0.2428. I posted on that um, a couple of days ago. That's the actual build. 22631.2428 that rolls out with 23H2. The point release for the build 0 0.2506 is bumped up with the optional update that will be installed after you upgrade to version 23H2. So just take note of that. Now, if you would like to check for the update, we head to our Windows update page as always. And as mentioned, uh, it will appear as an optional update. And if you're not seeing it, you can check for updates which um, will kind of force the process if you're not seeing it already. And if you're still not seeing it after checking for updates and restarting your device and checking for updates a couple of time, times, then in a up and coming video today, I'll show you what you can do as a so-called plan B if you want to install the update, if you're not seeing it through Windows Update, but that's a later video that we'll get into later today. Now, if we head over to Update History, you don't see an actual update rolling out for version 23H2. It uses an enablement package as mentioned. And yeah, you will see um, that the same update has been installed, which is last month's optional bug fix update for version 22H2, KB5031455. And then after you upgrade to version 23H2, the same update will be reinstalled. So just take note of that because obviously now the version's been bumped up so Microsoft will roll out the same optional bug fix update to your device if you are running 23H2. So you're going to get 23H2 plus the optional bug fix update. So just take note of that. And then moving on, um, obviously you need to have this update toggle turned on. Get the latest updates as soon as they're available. But in the next coming months, um, I'm almost certain that Microsoft will force the update out even if you have this turned off. But for now, you need this toggle turned on. So just take note of that. Now, something else to take note of is that um, this version upgrade also extends the support lifecycle of Windows 11. So if you are running Windows 11 Home Pro, Pro Education, and Pro for Workstations, you get now 24 months of support um, after installing version 23H2. And if you are running Windows 11 Enterprise and Education Editions, you now get 36 months of support so just take note of that now what's new in the update now first of all the feature update will include the moment four features that have rolled out because the moment four was actually supposed to be um those features were actually supposed to be part of 23h2 originally and microsoft changed their mind and i've posted quite a lot of videos so if you want more info just do a search accordingly on the channel so i have posted a whole video on the moment four um, features that have rolled out and those will also be included if they haven't rolled out to your device yet with version 23H2 and there were approximately 150 new features that rolled out with Moment 4. 
So um, if you hadn't received Moment 4 already and you get 23H2, then I'm sure you will start seeing a lot of those new um, features rolling out. And go check that video out regarding Moment 4. I'll leave it in the description. It'll provide you with a lot of info. Now, one or two things I have noticed, though, since upgrading to 23H2 is that we get the system components now that are listed for system components uh, in the uh, Start menu or Apps list. So this is across the board now with Windows 10 and Windows 11. So that just differentiates the system components from other apps, as an example. And also, if you clean install uh, Windows 11 version 23H2, uh, Cortana and the Mail app will be removed. Currently, if you just do an upgrade, you still have the option to uninstall Cortana, which is no longer supported. But if you do a clean install, the Mail app and Cortana will be removed automatically. And also... Uh, you'll notice if we right click and go to our taskbar settings, there is no more chat. Chat has been replaced with Microsoft Teams, which is an app you can download from the Microsoft Store. So and that's another thing just to uh, uh, give you a heads up on if you were using chat. And another thing is this could be the last major release and version upgrade for Windows 11, this 23H2 feature update, because next year, um, around about the um, last quarter of 2024, as I have been posting, we could expect Microsoft to start rolling out the uh, next um, major version, which will be a Windows 12 operating system, although never confirmed by Microsoft. So there's a good chance though that 23H2 is the last major version upgrade. And then obviously our next so-called feature update will be to Windows 12 in the latter half of next year. 2024. But that's it. That's more or less just a quick update regarding version 23H2, which is now officially rolling out. And as mentioned, if you're not seeing the update, um, I'll talk about that in a up and coming video today. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.